Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey. In this video tutorial, I want to take a look at how we can use paths in a different way. For example, we normally use a path in a tower defense game where we're trying to get our enemies to go in a certain line, or we want our enemies to go on a certain path, as you can see here. What I want to take a look at is how we could use something like a spaceship game where we can actually do some different kind of bullets, such as this triple shot and a wave shot, as you may have seen in the uh, preview for this video. So we're, we're going to be taking a look at this. So we're going to close this and start off with our unfinished project here. So in here, we have pretty much all everything we need here. Uh, we have a couple of extra objects, which I'll just delete because we're not going to be using them. So in the spaceship game, we just have our spaceship and our cursor. So if I run this, you can see that I can't really do anything but a normal shot. So if we take a look at that normal shot, hopefully you've seen this before, where we press down on the global left down. So anytime we press our left mouse button, I'm going to be calling event zero. In event zero, all we're doing is we're creating an instance and the instance that we're creating is object bullet normal. If we take a quick look at that bullet in the create event, all I'm doing is I'm setting the vertical speed to negative 32. If our object goes outside the room, it's just destroyed. So this is a normal bullet is that you would probably see in such in a game that you've been creating or something like that. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a couple of different bullets. If I go back to my character and I go to the left down, you can see that I have two in mind. I have a wave shot and a triple shot. What we're going to start off with is the wave shot because it's actually easier to do. So in the wave shot, we're going to go into paths. And you can see that I have two groups here. I'm going to create a new path and I'll just call this path underscore wave shot. So in here, if you haven't used the path editor before, it's basically like a grid where you can draw certain points on it. And then we can have our objects follow those points. And what I want to do is I always want to start out with the point going to be at zero and zero. So that will put it right in the middle. Next, I'll just drag out a couple points. We'll do one, two, three, and four. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have this path travel upwards. So I also needed to go to the left. So I'll be using 64. And then the next one will be minus 128. Now, I'm also going to set the speed to 16 because I want this to be moving slower going to the right and then fast upwards. So I'll set this to zero to be perfectly in the center and the next one will be minus 256 and 100 because we want it to move fast upwards minus 64 and you can see I'm just going in uh, 128 increments and I'm going to set the speed to 16 on that one then back to zero and at minus 512 and 100. Now what we end up with is a straight line like this and what we can do is we could just say smooth and that will make the S turn for us. So if I wanted to use this instead of a regular bullet, if I go to my character, I'm going to comment out the regular shot and I'm going to comment in the user event too. Now, if I take a look at this, you can see that it's currently completely empty. Now, what I want to do is I want to have it so it's not empty. So we're going to actually add a little bit of code here. You're going to see how easy this is. First, we're going to create an instance. So we'll say instance equals instance create depth. And we'll just use the X and Y position of wherever a ship is depth plus one. And instead of using the object bullet normal, we're going to use the object bullet path. You also saw that I have a cleanup one in there. I'll just show you that really quickly. It's basically just saying if the bullet goes outside the room. Now in the path one, you'll notice that there's nothing in here. We have the outside room and that's it. So we're not actually moving it in the code here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to say use that path that we just drew. So we'll say with that instance that we just created above because we're using the variable. What we're going to say is path underscore start. And we want to use the path underscore wave underscore shot. So that's the path that we just created using the speed of 32. And what do we want to have happen when we get to the end? So path action continue. And that is crucial 
that it is continued. And then we don't want it to be absolute because we want it to be wherever our player is starting at the X and Y coordinates. Now, if I hit F5 and I come in here and I shoot, you can see that the pattern is being followed. It is continuing up the screen and just like normal, everything is working. First, thank you for watching so far. I figured that the free game this time should be something that might have some paths in it. Use the URL in the video to grab a copy of Warstone. First come, first serve. So thanks. So the very last one I wanted to use a path for would be a triple shot. So in the triple shot, we're gonna create <clears throat> sorry, we're gonna create three different paths here. We're gonna create a path for left, a path for center then a path for the right. So we'll say triple, triple, left, and let's duplicate that, triple, right, and finally duplicate, center. So now this one, you may take a, a little bit of messing around, but once you get the paths, you'll be able to just kind of figure out the numbers that you need here. So for the left, I just want it to slightly go off to the left. If I add another one, say minus 64 here, what's gonna happen is my bullet's gonna go pretty far to the left, so I don't want it to go all the way to minus 64. So I'll just say something like minus two, and I'm gonna keep this relatively short and just say minus 32. So that means on the right, I'm gonna start at zero and zero, and then add in another point and go to two, and uh, 32 is that right no minus 32 sorry because we're going upwards and then the straight one is just an easy zero and zero and we'll move up and we'll say zero and minus 32. so we have our three paths we have one to the left one to the right and then the center one so i'm going to close all this make sure i save my project and i'm going to go back to the character and we're gonna comment out the wave shot and comment in <clears throat> the triple shot. So we're gonna go to event uh, one here. And in event one, we're gonna be doing something, uh, we're gonna have to use three different instances here. So just like we did with the wave shot, we can copy this and we can paste that in. So the instance that we're gonna create is the bullet path. And with that particular instance, Instead of using the path wave shot, we'll say path uh, triple, and let's go to the left. And then again, we want continue and false. So now we can just copy this and we can say, use the path right and the path center. And just remember, we did copy this three times. So we have three different bullets coming out. Now, if everything is right and I check my left down, and I hit a five, we should have a triple shot happening. Now you can see that this first one is going extremely fast. Now the reason that it's going extremely fast is because we left everything at a hundred speed. So in order for us to do some of that stuff, we can either go down here where we have center and change, <coughs> change this to something like 16, or we can go into the path and we can make the speed um, smaller by going here and changing the speed here. I'm going to leave that up to you to do, but you can see that it works pretty good. And yeah, now we have a triple shot. So that's just another different way that we can use paths. And hopefully that kind of opens up your mind to using different paths and different ways that we can do things instead of just finding a point A to B. Thanks for watching.